speeds coming up at 66 miles per hour and negative one. So what we're looking at here is a gate to gate shear of 67 miles per hour. And then look at that jump there. The new sweep just came on in of 29 and 57. So we're likely possibly seeing winds within this cell that could be reaching the ground at around 70 miles per hour. So certainly capable of doing some damage and likely will be if in fact there is a funnel reaching the ground. This is a radar indicated right over 105 here, just to the north of Moss Hill. If you're northbound on 146, you're gonna be right in the path of this as it's moving pretty quickly to the north and east. So this is the area here that we're really watching. This little couplet right in there, just to the north of 105 and to the west of 146, zipping in that general direction there. So we're gonna be keeping a close eye on that here for the watch window for about another nine to 10 minutes or so. Let's put another storm track on it here for you. Moving to the northeast areas there. We'll broaden out the view a little bit so you can see the general direction is moving. Clark area is gonna be the, the next town to watch as we jump out in time here by about 15 to 20 minutes. That one little couplet grazing through there off to the northeast. So Clark to 17. 12 minute lead time there. If you're in this warning, you're getting the warning on your phone, go to your safe space, go to an interior room away from windows and just hunker down for just a little while until we can get this couplet to lift on through and potentially disperse and become a little more ragged looking as it does so. However, unfortunately, the area that's moving into is a little more fertile for development. Overall ingredients are in place for this to keep or maintain its current strength or even strengthen a little bit more as it heads in that direction. So Rebecca Church there, uh, we're looking over towards Votaw around 226. That's outside of the warning. The warning itself is up for another 10 minutes. Keep that in mind there. Here's a look at the wind speeds again. And another thing about the cell, it's not really producing much in the way of lightning either. So here's some numbers, 39 miles per hour. And remember, we're also getting pretty far away. There's 63 miles per hour. So certainly, is there an update on that? Is there an update on the tornado warning? Okay. Tornado warning is continuing for a little while longer. Look at, even as we watch this cell, notice how quickly we're getting the updates and how fast it is lifting uh, to the northeast there. It's covering a lot of ground in a short amount of time. And you see the tornado uh, warning polygon highlighting there showing the update still until 2.15 or so. We're seeing some wind speeds here clocked on radar up and over 30 miles per hour, even 60 to 70 miles per hour as well. So here it is really coming right onto 146. Here's another storm track on it for you. Northeast, not encompassing many areas there. Bigger picture in terms of radar signature itself. We're starting to get that little bit of a hook signature there. Some lightning flaring on up north of the main cell, but the actual couplet right there is now looked to have lifted just to the north of 105. So it's moving north, it's closing in on 146, and we'll be moving and lifting over that here within the next uh, couple of minutes. Uh, Pat, you ready to roll? All right, Pat Cavlin joins me now. He's also joining on, on storm coverage. Pat, what, what is your take on this cell itself? So this was uh, the window of time that we were looking at to see any potential developments today. It was between... Is the mic on? There we go. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, this is the uh, time window that we were most concerned about it was between 1 and 4 p.m. Uh, Tim was talking about that during the uh, noon show. And this is pretty much what we've got now. There's a little rogue cell here on the uh, north and east side of the city. And again, that's pretty much, this is exact, it's happening exactly where we thought it was going to happen. The time frame is the exact uh, uh, window that we were thinking. And it's also the threat that we were thinking. It's a tornado threat. It's not a damaging wind threat. It's not a hell threat. It is a tornado threat. And that's just because, as Tim was mentioning, the atmosphere is so ripe for this development. The reason why it doesn't look uh, super sharp here on radar is because we're a pretty good distance away from the radar site. We're looking at this from League City, which as you know is south on 45 of the city. So we're looking pretty far into the atmosphere and so the farther away you get from these storms, the more diffuse our picture becomes. But the velocity picture, the rotation detector, which Tim was just showing you, that does look pretty impressive. Uh, so let's try and see if we can switch over, if the director can give me control uh, of the, uh, the, the smart tracker and we'll actually kind of do a deeper dive on this storm. The good news though, the, the only good news uh, with this cell is the fact that it is in a relatively rural area here. 
here as it crosses over Highway 246. So pretty much in between Moss Hill and Clark, uh, that's where we're seeing the biggest concern, the biggest threat here as this storm lifts to the north and east at about 35 miles per hour. So this warning in effect for another seven minutes. And the reason why that time window is so short is just because of the fact that uh, it's getting close to the county line here. And I believe that's the edge of uh, our weather services coverage. So I think, Tim, you have to put that into play. And that's that's the reason why I'm not able to kind of do that deeper dive. So if you can move the radar scene up to the top and then we'll we'll get you a better look here. But again, a little bit of sunshine out there that's helping to heat up the atmosphere. So I mean, it definitely feels like the atmosphere is primed for that potential to see severe weather. So again, if you're just joining us, severe thunderstorm warning now a tornado warning for uh, Liberty County here. It's the extreme northeastern part of Liberty County. So the north of Moss Hill again doesn't look too impressive here when we look at the reflectivity. So we got to switch over to our rotation detector and that just gives you a better sense of what's going on here. Those brighter colors. That's what we look for against darker colors. So notice the darker gray in there that just indicates where the wind speeds uh, go to almost zero. So we call this a speed shear event where you've got the winds moving quickly in one direction and they're almost stationary in the other direction. But when we're this far from the radar site, we're looking several thousand feet up into the storm. We're not looking at what's happening at the surface. So what this is telling us is that the whole storm is actually rotating which gives us uh, you know, reason to believe that that could translate down to the surface as a strong circulation, potentially a funnel cloud or a tornado. So if you live along Highway 146 here, again, between Clark and Moss Hill, pretty rural uh, part of the viewing area here, uh, this is where we're going to be seeing this potential tornado crossing over the highway very soon. So if you live in this area, again, make sure that you're in an interior room because this cell is about to cross over 146 and then eventually make its way out towards the north and east. But as Tim is mentioning, this is in a really ripe environment for development, and we will likely see this circulation continue. It'll cycle off and on again. Uh, it doesn't look as impressive right now as it did before, but that's just probably because it's going through a little bit of a cycling phase, and that will probably strengthen up here as we go through the next few minutes. But Tim, we've got another five minutes on this warning. They'll likely extend this or the next weather service office, which is downstream. They will likely extend this warning as it continues to move into just a better and better environment. And as you said, this is a rogue cell, Pat, so it's not not really surrounded by much else. There are a few cells that are popping on up, heading into San Jacinto, another one up into Polk. Now, this is a severe thunderstorm warning in the yellow. The tornado warning is in the red. Tornado warning itself is up until 2.15 this afternoon. The severe thunderstorm warning is up until 2.30. But this is, again, a sparsely populated area. As we zoom in on it, it's about to exit Liberty County and just brush the southern tier of Polk, moving at a pretty good clip, and is now firing off some more lightning, which is an indication that it is starting to gain strength. And as Pat mentioned, it is moving into an area that has all the ingredients, even more so than the, the environment it's in currently. So likelihood of this cycling and then strengthening outside of our viewing area is quite high, but for now it is impacting portions of Liberty County. Uh, lightning and thunder indicated on this as well, becoming a little more numerous. A closer look here, and we'll switch it over to the rotation detector. Yeah, and here we go. This is looking a little bit more ragged. We're not seeing those bright signatures of the strong winds up against the lighter winds, which indicates the whole overall circulation right over 146 now south of Clark and north of Moss Hill. So in between there, that's when you're finding the gustiest of the winds, the strongest of the winds that could be up and over 50 to 60, maybe 70 miles an hour. Now, Pat alluded to this as well, that this is up in the sky. This is a radar indicated event. Nothing confirmed on the ground at the moment, but if in fact this tightens up enough and drops a funnel to the ground, we get ground confirmation and it is moving over uh, a highway, Highway 146 south of Clark, north of Moss Hill. Pat? Yeah, so as you mentioned, again, a uh, pretty rural area that we're talking about here, which is which is good news. But again, this is exactly where we thought this threat would be. This warning goes for another couple minutes. We just got an update from the Weather Service. We'll see if they've continued it, uh, but this is, uh, ex they're expiring it right now. Says expires. Yep. All right, so there you go. So they, they've not seen enough evidence to continue it. We're going to keep watching these storms and any others that form. But until then, we'll get you back to programming. Thanks for watching. Thighs or perfumes. The towel washed with Downy is softer and gentler on your skin. Try Downy Free and Gentle. One Prilosec OTC each morning blocks heartburn all day and all night. Prilosec OTC reduces excess.